And this is a really moving and really important story. And I don't know if you know this, but Emmanuel is going to bless you with what he says tonight. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Emmanuel of Fusu Yeboah. Good evening. Um, I'm very happy to be here. You know, at times people invite me to come and speak to their schools, companies, and um, so many places. But you know, I love to speak to youth like the guys like my age, or maybe um, some of the people I'm older than them, because each country belongs to the youth they are coming and um, if you're a Christian and you're a youth you can able to do a lot in your life because God said it when you believe in him we can do the same thing he did or we can do more than he did so we have to believe God and trust him and know that we can able to do something and so many years ago I'm not understanding so many things but now I can say it, I'm not understanding so many things or maybe what happened from beginning to the end but I can understand something because why so many years ago people are suffering in our country and we have president we have so many people that have money we have king and chiefs in Ghana but none of them is trying to help the disabled people except me so at times I'm a kind of a person um, I'm a Christian and I love God so much. So I'm trying to understand so many things. Why God did you created me to come to this world as a disabled person? Why all my friends they have two legs and I'm having only one leg? I never saw it in my life before. I'm very proud about anything God has given to me. Because in Ghana, um, in my family, we have like 110 family members, my uncles or whatever. No person is a disabled person except me. And before our country, Ghana, when you give birth to a disabled person, they think either your father or your mother did something wrong. That's why the person gave birth to a disabled person. So they want you to kill that disabled person. And that's how before so many people do. And I can say I'm one of the luckiest person in the world. And my mom, she didn't kill me. She said, I will let my son live. And that's, that's how my father left home. And my mother take care of me. She didn't let me die. And so many family members, they think I and my mother, we are the case. So they didn't want to see my mom in the house or wherever. And that's how my mom gave me my name, Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means God with us. So I believe that I have to learn something from my mom so that I can be somebody in the near future. And the time, a couple years ago, my mom died. I think I'm riding a bicycle to honor my mom or to honor the disabled people in Ghana so that people can see all the talent they have so that they can able to sponsor them. And that's how it's come as my bicycle rider across my country. I don't have any idea behind the bike ride to just ride a bicycle to honor disabled people for people to help disabled people in our country. On a couple years later, I met missionaries in Ghana and I said, This is something I wanted to do, but I need a bicycle. So if you guys can buy me a bicycle. And they said, Imano, we don't have money for you to buy a bicycle, but we know a foundation called Challenge Adults Foundation. They are based in San Diego, California. Maybe they can help you because we know they have so many athletes like you in the US. And I said, okay. And that's my first time writing letter to the US or outside Ghana before. And a couple months later, they sent me a bicycle all the way from California to Ghana. And that day I was roaming myself on the floor. And I said, today my dream will start. We came to this world for the purpose and each of us have something to offer. You know, I believe 
That's how I can say right now that black president in this country. A couple of years ago, Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. I have something to offer this country. And he didn't finish and he died. I can say that's how we are black president in this country. Because we all as a dreamer. And you wanted to be a dreamer and you wanted to let people to know a gift you have. You have to fight to the end. And you have to believe God. You know, in Ghana, my mom, she never buy a TV before. She never buy a car. She never buy like motor, bicycle or whatever before. But my mom, she knows God. And one is very important. You know, you can be poor. But at, at the end of the day, you can enjoy it somewhere. You know, right now, I don't have money. I'm not rich. But always I'm trying to help my people in Ghana. Because always our pastor said, he said it's not the person who is rich. That's the person who gives. It's the person who loves God. It's a person who is very cheerful. That's the person who gives. You know, why so many people are begging on the street in Ghana? And we have president of so many people, they are rich. And accept me as a disabled person, help my people in Ghana. It's very sad, but at times, we are not understand so many things. It's God. He can he's understand so many things. I came to this country with $3 in my pocket. By the time I'm going back to Ghana, I'm, I was having two legs. I was doing so many things and having money in my pocket. And that's how God works. When you believe God, you can get something you never forget. That's how God works. So, you know, always why I'm trying to let people to know my story. Because I think without God, I can't be nobody in this world. Or maybe I will die by now. But because of God, who knows how am I going to be in this world? And he wants me to tell people about how maybe he can surprise you in your life. When you believe in him, so many things can change for you. You know, I believe I'm still a poor guy, but I've got in my life. Because so many things have happened to me in the past, but I never died. I still live. Because I wanted to believe and let people to know maybe how God has changed my life. So we youth, we can change the world. We can tell our story to the people to make the glory to God to get the glory because we are not going to get the glory for ourselves. We are doing so many things to honor the God. So what are we doing now to honor God? We have to let God know that we are very proud of Him. Anyhow we are, anyhow we, we no matter how maybe we are poor or we are rich, it's better we have to serve God in a very truthful and honor way so that at the end of the day, we'll be very happy and God will be very happy. You know, so that's my story. That's how I'm trying to let people know how we can able to change the world. That's why I named my movie Manos Gift. I believe I don't have nothing, but I have the gift. That's a gift. My gift is my story to tell the people to know how maybe we can able to change the world. Because right now, the world, we are not looking for the money. The world is looking for the peace. So many people travel to Africa, different countries, but they are trying to let the, to let the country to be peace for the people. To let, they are not going there to look for money. At times, so many people come to my country, and I was so very proud to meet them, because they are coming to change our country. They are not coming for the money. That's how we must be known because um, we can able to offer the world. We can able to make the world peaceful for us. We can able to make the world peace peace for the people in the world, for the next generation they are coming. So um, my friends, colleagues, youth, we can able to do something. And I'm very proud that always at times I met people they know God, people they are very they are Christian. That's how. We can make our story very big and big. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you.